How's it going, everyone? It is Skalzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. Today, I want to step away from the Bethesda news for something that has me very hyped and excited, and that is the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. This is something I've talked about here in the channel before, and is one of the main topics amongst the gaming community right now, as this is something the majority of the community, including myself, has been wishing for and hoping for for, like, quite a long time now. And there's been plenty of rumors surrounding a supposed remaster, going as far back as even 2018 and lately, these rumors and supposed leaks have been ramping up and becoming ever more frequent and credible. And now, literally within the last 24 hours, we potentially got the most credible piece of evidence supporting the fact that the remasters exist to date. And honestly, this isn't really evidence at all, but instead a actual direct confirmation that the Mass Effect remasters are indeed a real thing. And not only that, but they are even fairly close to being released as well. And this information comes to us straight from South Korea of all places, and more specifically, the Game Rating and Administration Committee of South Korea. Basically, the South Korean version of the ESRB, or any other national agency that assigns games their official rating. And according to the South Korean Ratings Agency, not only do the Mass Effect remasters exist, but the Ratings Board has actually even seen these remasters as well. And not only that, they've even seen enough of them to actually assign them an official rating, apparently. And on top of all this, we also got the official name of this Mass Effect Remastered Collection as well. And it is all on this page right here. This is the official South Korean ratings board listing for a game called Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which happens to be one of the many supposed names of this remastered collection. A bunch of possible names have leaked over the course of, like, the last two years, and this one seemed to be the most credible and numerous one. Now, I went ahead and translated this page to English using my multilingual powers, also known as Google Translate, and although most of this is indeed in English, now I still wasn't able to find exactly where the words Mass Effect are in this game rating listing. However, there is a lot of documentation available to download and look through as well, which is not translated into English from what I understand, and I don't read or speak Korean, so I am probably of no use when it comes to trying to figure out anything within these documents. However, according to the Japanese gaming news website Gamatsu, who apparently can translate and understand Korean, were able to go through all of these documents and verify that these are indeed for a Mass Effect Legendary Edition Remaster Collection, which essentially confirms that A, these long-rumored Mass Effect remasters are indeed real and that they're not just rumored anymore, and B, it's called the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and also C, the remasters are close enough to being released that they have received their first official rating from a government agency. And this is huge because this isn't a leak or a rumor, but actual direct confirmation that this is actually finally happening. These remasters are real and this confirms it and I am hyped and I am losing my mind. There is one strange thing though. Why was South Korea the first country to officially rate the Mass Effect remasters? Bioware isn't located in South Korea and there isn't really any real connection between or link between the two, so is it possible that several different national rating agencies all over the world are all currently reviewing the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and South Korea just happened to get their ratings review done first, or maybe South Korea has less strict rules regarding how much of a game needs to be finished before it can receive an official rating. Different countries do have different various requirements and regulations in order for a game to be eligible for a ratings review, some countries requiring the game to basically be completely finished, and other countries sometimes requiring much less. It's hard to say why South Korea was the first nation out of the gate with that Mass Effect remaster rating, but nonetheless, this should be considered direct confirmation, and not just a rumor or a leak. When a government agency assigns a rating to a game, that game basically exists, and in most cases, the game is close to a finished state, if not finished completely. So don't take this with a grain of salt, you can leave that speculation salt in its cabinet. This is huge news, and this is 100% confirmation that these remasters are happening, and I am super Super hyped, as Mass Effect is one of my favorite universes and franchises, and you can bet I'll be playing and 100%ing these games all over again. I miss those characters so much, and the hype is truly assuming direct control. Now, I did hear rumors going around recently suggesting that the Mass Effect Legendary Edition has been delayed internally, but I don't necessarily know why 
die or if those rumors are even true. But if this is the case, it's hard to say exactly when the remasters could actually end up coming out. But my guess is they wouldn't want to release this directly alongside Cyberpunk 2077. Because who the heck wants to compete against that? So I am going to guess that we'll most likely see the Mass Effect Legendary Edition remasters sometime around early 2021 at the latest, potentially even March. I do believe it would be a good idea for Bioware to finally announce this though, seeing how most people assume the remaster rumors were true anyway, long before the official South Korean game rating thing even happened. And if I had to pick the best date in my opinion for Bioware to finally announce the Mass Effect remasters, that date would be November 7th, N7 Day, less than a month from the date that I uploaded this video. N7 is iconic within the Mass Effect universe, and thus November 7th has long been a special Mass Effect holiday of sorts within the gaming community, which makes it the best time to finally announce these remasters that everyone basically knows about already Bioware. Just do it already, just announce this. If the remasters were indeed delayed, my guess would be it's because of the first Mass Effect game. They probably decided they didn't make enough improvements to the now outdated game, and decided to go back and potentially rebuild it mostly from the ground up, somewhat like what happened with the Mafia remasters. The first Mafia game was definitely outdated, but they rebuilt it on a current game engine and it looks and feels like a completely different game. I have a strong feeling that is exactly what we're going to see with the first Mass Effect game remaster, and that gets me super hyped, as the first Mass Effect game was a very decent game which is easily showing its age so much now that it unfortunately is keeping some new players from trying it and joining the franchise for the first time. I feel like this remaster is an amazing opportunity to show some much needed love to a very beloved franchise, and at the same time it's a great way to bring many new players into the franchise and fan base as well. Hopefully this will breathe some new life and fresh air into what seems to be an otherwise forgotten about and abandoned franchise, and I hope this is the re-beginning of that Mass Effect hype, as the franchise deserves much more than to simply be left to decay like a Prothean relic. It's an amazing universe with amazing lore and gameplay, and the characters and story will forever be unforgettable. Hopefully you're all as hyped for the Mass Effect Legendary Edition remasters as I am, and as always, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. That's going to finish up today's video though. This video was brought to you by the following amazing people. If you want to get a video shout out like this, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member, and check the links down in the description below for other ways to follow the channel and join the community. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when I'm excited for Bemander Bepper time.